Everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today, I stopped off at Walmart and I caught a restock. The MJ Holdings rep was there stocking the shelves, filling them up with new stuff, and there was a couple new items on the shelves. We're gonna check out one of those new items in this video, and here it is. It is the Mystery Power Box, a $25 blaster box, which looks like it gives you a graded card plus four factory packs. There's also some other stuff on the shelves, but she was doing her job. I didn't want to get in the way, so I grabbed some of those boxes. You can see Sport Kings is new this week. Let's go ahead and open up these mystery packs and see what's inside. Hit that subscribe button, and let's see what we can find. All right, everybody, we're back from Walmart. We've got the mystery boxes, brand new mystery power box. I think this, uh, this product, we've seen MJ Holding do these mystery boxes about once a year. And usually we've come away just wanting a little bit more from some of these packs. I remember in years past, we had like Honus bonus packs, which were probably one of the worst packs of all time in these. Every now and then though, you'd find some really cool packs. You can see on the front of this, we got 2017 packs right there, 2017 Stadium Club. So it'd be interesting to see if all the packs are the same or if they're gonna be different. So uh, I picked up six of these. They are $25 a piece plus tax if you see them at your Walmart, and they'll probably start popping up soon at a Walmart near you. It also kind of leads you to believe that the bonus item is going to be potentially a graded card. They have graded cards on the front of all these, like an Aaron Judge PSA 10, a Mickey Mantle 58 tops, and a PSA 6. Now, it says that that mystery item could be a 2017 sealed pack, which is kind of kind of sucks. Um, I'd rather have a PSA 10 card, but I mean, if it's a, a nice 2017 pack, I guess that's okay. Graded cards, gold coins, and more. So I didn't do any shake tests of any of these. Um, the lady was still sh uh, stocking the shelves there. I asked, hey, is it okay if I grab a few boxes or would you like me to wait until you're done? And she's like, no, go ahead. I don't have to take any pictures of anything because there's no like new releases. I guess when there's a hot new release, they have to take a picture of everything stocked. Um, before they leave. So she was very gracious, stepped aside so I can get my little clip there of these on the shelves. And now let's go ahead and see what we've got here. We do have a sponsor for this video, trying their luck. The sponsor of this video is Andrew Bonlender. So let's see if we can find some decent stuff in here. This will be interesting, $25, which isn't a huge outlay. I mean, it's a risk, obviously. These could absolutely be terrible or they could be kind of nice. I'm I'm kind of expecting if there are graded cards in here to be Kyle Lewis rookie cards from 2020. Uh, we'll see. Here we go. First one up, Kyle Lewis PSA 10, by the way. It's about a $5 card. PSA 9, probably like 2 bucks. Let's hope that's not the case. All right. So these are put together by MJ Honing Company. You can see we have 58 Roger Maris on the front. On the side, we have some potential packs there. 2022 Series 1 and 2 along with the 2022 Gypsy Queen pack. There's the other side. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we've got. There's the bottom, brand new on the shelves. I've not seen these anywhere. And it says copyright 2023, MJ Holding Company, which is the company that stocks the shelves at Walmart. All right, so here we go. No graded card in the first box. We have a, this is our mystery item, I guess. Oh boy. We got NPB packs back again. You remember those from those mystery tins that were out not too long ago. And we've got Series 2, Gypsy Queen, and Series 1 from last year. Let's go ahead and rip these open and see what we can find. We'll do each of these packs as we go along. Retail, always kind of a tougher route to pull anything good, especially in 2023. Got a Joe Ryan in there. There's Paul Goldschmidt. You get those stars of MLB cards in every single pack. I know some of you might be a little tired of 2022, so I won't go over the cards too uh, much in depth. Uh, any good pulls, we'll definitely pause on those, but most of these are going to be commons. All right, so nothing too crazy. There's a Ronald Acuna Jr. in there. We do have a blue Pat Mazeka rookie, which is nice. It's not numbered. Jazz Chisholm in there as well. So, Andrew, we'll get that Pat Mazeka sleeved up. And here is the NPB Chrome Pack. People kind of like these. Some people are fans of the NPB um, baseball set. We've seen these before. And we'll see if we can find any stars. Some of these guys probably play in the World Baseball Classic. I do not know Team Japan that well. There's Yasutaka Tobushira. It is a blue numbered to 150. 
Here's the Gypsy Queen pack. It's just a retail pack with six cards in there. So no hobby packs in any of these. I kind of wonder if they just, when they can't sell this stuff on the shelves, and, I mean, you see it. I, I've, I see archives just sitting there for months and months and other um, releases like Gypsy Queen sitting there for months. I, I think they just send it back to MJ Holdings and they break them open and make these mystery boxes to kind of move some of their inventory. Here's the mystery item. Oh, that's great. It is a little little pack. That's our mystery item there from Prism Draft Picks. Is that from 2017, I guess? Oh, okay. It's 2014. So that's we're supposed to get hyped about that, I guess. Scott Blewett. What a terrible name for a pitcher. And uh, I think MJ Holding Company blew it on that box because that was not a good one. Definitely not worth the 25 bucks. But we bought six of them so you could kind of get um, you know, a larger sample size. Let's see what we have in Andrew's next box here. I'm also interested to see if all the packs are going to be exactly the same. All right, so here's our mystery item. And the packs are going to be a little different in the fact that they gave us an extra Japanese League pack. So that's, I, I guess, okay. I'm a little tired of 2022. I don't know about you. If I'm going to open 2022, I'm going to go for the hobby packs of Series 2. Go after the J-Rods, although you can pull a J-Rod in retail as well we got a sandy leone that'll be a nice little silver foil card and we'll do the 2021 pack as well and see what we've got in here ian kennedy leads things off here in the series one looking for wander franco basically and he's coming up because there's ryan zimmerman corbin burns will follow him and here comes wander what well, of course not no Wander Franco. Typically, the collation is going to be Wander right after there, but sometimes he's missing, and he was missing there. Let's go to those NPB packs and see what we have in these Japanese League packs here. And it uh, looks like there'll be a refractor coming up. It's going to be Yashi Hibo Ogawa, I guess. I can't even read the names. I, I literally hate the 2021 Tops design. I hate it even more. And more every time I open it. I can't read the names. They're so small, especially these Japanese league names. You really have to kind of focus on them to, to see them. And I, I can't. I can barely even see it. Size 4 font. There's an 86. Hey, that's a cool one right there. Masataka Yoshida. He's up with the uh, Red Sox now. So that's a kind of a really nice card, actually. No uh, stats on the back, but we'll take that one. And we'll see if we have anything else in here worth noting i maybe but i'm not sure again of the japanese league players looks like this is another way for them to move some japanese league cards just put them in mystery boxes and here's the hit it is a championship reflections roberto clemente tops card it is from 2020 so that's your bonus item it's from the tops Derek jeter curated set not sure if that's really worth anything i highly doubt it maybe a buck or two but again that's another Thumbs down on that box. I'd say we're 0 for 2 if we're trying to, you know, look if there's any value in these boxes. Or is this just a way for MJ Holding Company to get rid of some of their overstock, which is what it's looking like right now. Here's the next one. All right, nothing left in there. And the packs are going to be very similar to the other ones, Japanese League packs. I wonder, why do they have so many of these? Like, did they just reach a deal? Tom's like, man, we have all these Japanese League cards. What can we do with them? Uh, MJ Holding Company, would you like to buy them for like $10 a box or something like that? And that's probably maybe what happened. All right, we've got a massive... I can't read that name. It's so small. I'm, I'm like, okay, I'll look at the one on the back. And I can't read that either because it's in Japanese. That's out of 150 And nothing else in there. I'm looking for players that are former major leaguers. So there, there are a good bit of former major leaguers over there. Most notably now is... Trevor Bauer has moved across the pond, and it's gonna. I guess I don't know. I don't think they call it that. I think the Atlantic Ocean is the across the pond going to Great Britain, but he went across the Pacific. Trevor Bauer, I got to start doing a little research and seeing how he's doing over there. This season should be starting soon if it hasn't already started. Here's a Gypsy Queen pack. There's Curtis Terry, and nothing in there. Spencer Strider, not a bad one. We'll get that one sleeved up. That's one of the better rookie cards in that set. Next up, we have our pack here of Series 2 and the big mystery item that, man, it's a power box and these mystery items are just just kind of leaving us wanting more. I know that they're leaving me wanting more. I was hoping for some graded cards in here. 
All right, nothing going on there. The mystery hit. It's going to be a Mickey Mantle, 70 years of tops. That's actually a pretty cool card, 19, um, not 19, but 2021 tops. And uh, I'm not sure exactly where this card comes from, but um, that's pretty cool right there, Mickey Mantle. I'm trying to look at it. It is glossy. I don't, I don't know if it's from that, like a special Mickey Mantle set or something like that, but that's probably the coolest card so far for me. Um, I'd have to look it up on eBay and see what it goes for off the top of my head. I've never seen that card before, so I couldn't tell you. All right, next up. It might, might only be a dollar card. Here we go with this next one. Don't know if there's a shake test. There probably is a shake test for these where you can be able to tell if there's a graded card in there. I would say there's no graded card in this one. And I am right. And our bonus hit is a, oh man, this is kind of a slap in the face. It's a free pack. These packs were supposed to be given away for free to folks that visited hobby stores during National Baseball Card Day. And this is our mystery item. That's supposed to be for free. Well, that kind of is crappy. The packs are, wow, it's going to be only one USA pack. The other three are international. You got UK and two Japanese League packs. Wow, I don't even know what to say about that. At least it's 2019, so you have a shot at the Vlad Jr. rookie card who is in that National Baseball Card Day set, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, if you're unfamiliar with that, every August, like second weekend in August, they do a National Baseball Card Day where if you go to a hobby store and you spend X amount of dollars, you get a free sealed pack. And there is a chance of pulling autographs in those packs. I purchased boxes of those before where you're not supposed to be able to uh, purchase them either, but there's some crooked hobby shops out there that just don't even give them away and just sell them on eBay. And um, I've opened those boxes and found autographs in there before. All right, so we have a gold foil right here. And we'll get that one sleeved up. I don't know if there's going to be much value there. And we'll move on to the other Japanese League pack. So right now, folks, if I'm giving you my honest review of this product, I'd say stay away from it. $25, you're better off buying a blaster box of something else and maybe not wasting your money and time on this. Seiya Matsubara out of 99. Tops UK, not a bad set. From tw I mean, I don't like the 2021 design, but there's usually some numbered cards. Maybe every other pack has a numbered card. There's Jake Cronenworth, rookie card. He just signed a seven-year extension. We'll get that one sleeved up. Tanner Houck, Jonathan India, the rookie of the year in 2020. And we got Ryan Malkow. So that actually was a pretty good pack for all the good rookies in there by 2021 standards. And this is, this is our freebie, our big mystery item, National Baseball Card Day, which was supposed to be free. I mean, nowadays, 2019 packs, and these are probably actually worth a little bit of money. So let's see what we've got in here. Again, looking for the Vladdy. We've got Trey Mancini. Mike Trout's in there, so that's not too bad. Matt Chapman and Paul Goldschmidt. So Mike Trout, pretty cool card right there. Unfortunately, did not get one of the big cards like the Vladdy. And uh, in here, I would say, again, no no, uh, no slab. I feel like there's, if there's a slab in there, you'd be able to tell. Because what I'm feeling is I'm feeling like a uniform move, like the packs are shifting from side to side uniformly. And if there was a if there was a big old slab in there, it would definitely feel a little different. Uh, I don't know what the odds are of finding a slab, probably like one in 100 boxes or so. We got another Mickey Mantle card coming up there. Let's check out the packs. This is the fifth box of the six that I purchased, and the packs are pretty much exactly the same. Let's go to rip through these and see what we've got going on here. It's going to be the Series 2 pack first. There will be a Stars of MLB card coming up. And there's an Upside Down card. So we got a gold card there. Austin Gomber out of 2022. Salvador Perez. Justin Verlander. And really nothing else going on there. We'll check out this six-card pack right here from Gypsy Queen. Got Kyle Lewis in there. There's Walker Bueller. And a rookie card of Reed Detmers. And time, I just get, I'm tired of the, of the Japanese League cards. It'd be cool if we'd start hitting some autos. I don't know what the chances are of the autos, if even there are chances of autos. I guess I could look at the pack wrapper and see. Um, stadium Sluggers, Gold, Super Fractors. Do I see any autographs on there? I'm not really seeing any autograph odds. I see 86 Tops baseball inserts. I don't even think you can find a single autograph card in any of these. Oh, so that uh, makes that even worse. So the bonus hit here is going to be a Mickey Mantle. 
This is his 2018 Topps design, one of the best designs of the last 10 years. I love the 2018 Topps set. Such a nice design, and when they are parallel, they even look much, much better. Mickey Mantle card 47, so I guess maybe this uh, they put a put an image on him of every single card, so they're probably not going to be all that valuable, but still kind of cool, but definitely not worth like 25 bucks. Here is the Topps UK pack. Alec Manoa rookie card is not too shabby. We'll get that one sleeved up. And the back card, usually there's one insert per pack. It's Devin Williams' significant stats card. He won the Rookie of the Year in the National League a couple years ago. And now for Andrew. Here we go. Final box. And very disappointed. Not a sick. They put all these graded cards on here. Like this, I feel like this is kind of false advertising. Put two graded cards on there. On the other side, you got a graded card there. They put 2017 packs on there. Tops on demand. And really, this is what you're getting. You're getting that stuff on the side in pretty much every box. Here we go with the final one. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. I really appreciate you tuning in. At least now you know. Maybe not buy one of these. All right, so there's all the packs. Nothing else in there. All right, so first up, it's Gypsy Queen. We'll do these a pack at a time and see what we can pull from these. This is the final one. There's a Bo Bichette See the Future crystal ball card. And nothing really else in there. Uh, big surprise there. Another NPB pack. I'm sure there's probably a, a Chrome NPB pack coming up as well from the Japanese League. Let's see if we can pull anything out of this. There's an 86 Yuki Yanagita. Couldn't tell you if he was any good or not. Have to maybe go to the World Baseball Classic page and look it up. There's Scott Migo. Looks like he might be a an American that went overseas to continue his career, as a lot of Americans will do, and there's not a lot of opportunities here. Next pack, guess what? It's a Series 2 pack. And we've got two packs left. It looks like one of the, this is going to be another one of those crappy three-card prism draft um, packs, which kind of stinks. But there's another pack at the bottom, which I don't think we've seen this before. It has kind of a... Oh, maybe we have seen it before. We'll see. There's a Kansas City Royals team card in here and really nothing else going on all right so yep i knew it it's in freaking npb chrome pack all right so basically all this really is it's the tins the mystery tins all over again except in different packaging and they're making you think you're going to get a graded card when most likely you're not here's the little blue prison pack we've got a hit a Milton Ramos, Jose Pujols, and Tyler Kolek in there. Tyler Kolek once was a good prospect. He never really amounted to anything. Tyler Kolek was on the front of the 2014 Bowman Draft Box, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so that was abysmal. And uh, as we expected it to be, pretty darn awful. So, Andrew, thank you very much. Unfortunately, that came up well short of expectations as the MJ holding boxes usually let us down, unfortunately, and they let us down again. Kind of made us think there'd be some graded cards in there, and they psyched us out. So, Andrew, thanks very much. I'll put some extra stuff in your package to kind of help you out a little bit there. Um, get some maybe some hobby packs in there. Get a nice little care package there for you. Thanks, Adam, and thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a great rest of your Friday. Coming up, Box Wars tomorrow on Saturday. We got Stadium Club Chrome and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you want to check those out on Patreon, we sell all of our live stream spots on Patreon. We have Team Break Tuesday coming up on Tuesday as well. Uh, lots of great rounds there. We've got Big League, Stadium Club Chrome, Series 1 Jumbos. We've got some Super Mixers. I bought a case of 2020 Bowman Chrome Megas. There's a round of those going after the Anthony Volpe first, which will be really fun. So check that out. And <coughs> sorry about that, choking up here. Also, Easter's coming up this coming Sunday. We will not have a live stream on Easter, so I encourage you to just kind of celebrate that with your families or just kind of, you know, hang out, take it easy. Uh, no auction on Sunday, but we'll be back with our next live auction on this uh, ne next week on Thursday. So have a fantastic rest of your Good Friday, everybody, and I will see you all tomorrow for the Box Wars. Good night, everybody.